Hello everyone and welcome to another 3D Buzz training video. We're going to be continuing on with our series of how to create a four-legged at at like vehicle. Yes, yeah. that's right. And bring it into Unreal Tournament 3. Now, of course, right now, Zach is working on the model itself and we shall continue with what? The foot? The foot. There's a few things I want to fix real quick and I'm just going to dive through them and see if I can get them done really quick so we can move on to some other things. A little and start... far extrusion it look like? Maybe? Yeah, we're going to work our way up the ankle. So I'm going to bring in the underside of the foot. I got pulled out just a little bit too far for my taste and that looks a lot better. Uh, there's a problem that I have with uh, this little crevice here. There's some little hidden extrusions that got picked up by accident here. So I'm going to go over to polygons by hitting the four key, turn off, ignore back facing. We'll grab all these guys and hit delete. I'm going to verify that I can see through this thing. Looks good. Which I can. We'll hit the three key to jump over to borders. And let me grab uh, this border here. Let's hit bridge. And I just want to bridge straight up. There we go. So that basically takes that away, at least for the time being. And uh, we'll deal with the rest of that here in just a minute as I undo a quick user view. All right. So uh, the foot itself is a little bit tall. So let's tackle that. That is, that is something that I noticed personally, that I know you were following along with the blueprints back there. Right. But it just feels a little, I don't know, stubby? Yeah, well, I mean, here's a, a shot from the movie, and you can see it's a lot more squat. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is still pretty tall, but the rest of it is actually pretty short. So what we're going to do is grab everything that's important that's kind of along this plane. I'm just going to make a marquee selection across here. In fact, let me turn off uh, crossing, or turn on crossing, to be more precise. We want all of this stuff. And uh, we're going to go over to our modify panel and drop on an FFD 2x2x2. Two by two by two. And inside this, we'll grab our control points, grab the control points along the top, and just kick these guys down. And it just squashes everything down. Cool. Now, uh, at this point, we're breaking so far away from what the uh, blueprints are doing that I'm not even going to reference those. What I'm going to do is take a look at our picture and just kind of feel out what looks right. I'll right. Leave it at that. Yeah, looking a lot, lot better, I think. It looks better. Right Maybe just a, a notch down just a little more, and okay. I'll just leave it right there and not cool. risk anything further. So uh, at this point, we could just right-click, uh, convert everything back over to an editable poly, which is more or less like you know cleaning out your stack. Now, a few more things. Let's switch over to vertices. I'm going to grab all the vertices here at the top. I'm going to pull these back up. Uh, not too not, far. Yeah, not so far. Not too far, but ju just a little bit further, because we do have a lot more height mm -hmm. uh, in that point. In fact, this whole area looks like it might be about as tall as what's going on down here, at least to me. So... Yeah, it looks a little bit better. There's a couple of other things that I noticed when I was really studying this uh, movie still, is it looks like we might have a little bit of doming across the top of this thing, okay. and uh, some little doodads that are stuck imperial up here. Imperial doodads, okay. The, the imperial doodads, and I estimate there's three of them. One, and then two, and you can kind of see like three of them if you, you look across. Now, I've seen these from other angles, too. This is just the only picture I have handy. So uh, let's switch over to... Uh, polygons and I'll hit Z so I can kind of frame up on this one little poly and what I want to do is just extrude this guy actually you know what let's try this let's inset him I want this is this is completely off the cuff I think this is gonna work pretty well and if it doesn't then then yeah. I can laugh and then you, you can, can point me. point and laugh oh, and all sweet. Those point and laugh. Excellent. so um, we'll click okay there we've done an inset now <laughs> now, hang on just a oh. second you, you didn't have your cue yet oh. we're gonna slide this up now, that actually does, be, well, because their smoothing groups are all the same, that does create a little bit of doming, but not really nice doming. Mm -hmm. So let's hit F4. Let's grab an edge here. Let's ring it. Uh, let's connect these things just once. Give me just one nice connection, which we're going to pull up as well. Something about like so. Not perfect, but close. Then... Uh, let's come in here and grab the chamfer, and we can increase our chamfer amount, and kick up our segments a couple of times. Ooh, let's kick up that chamfer amount a little more, start driving out toward those edges. And click OK. Now let's F4. And if you're noticing any edges, you might want to just double check your smoothing groups, but overall I think that's actually going to work out. Uh, let's grab the whole thing as an element. And uh, let's see, 45 is a little tight. Let's maybe pull that down to about 20 degrees and auto smooth. And uh, let's see how this looks. Okay. 
Oh, man, well, the stinky thing is, looking at that, I don't think I can actually point and laugh at you. Uh, Zach changes out the battery in the mouse real quick. That's awesome. One dead battery. On the fly. Yes, <laughs> very good. Okay, so, um, but yeah, th- it yeah. does look a little bit domed, and yes. I think that's really all I was uh, trying to accomplish there. So, um, the so Imperial... I'm already getting happier. Good. Well, there you go. Uh, now we have the Imperial doodads, and we can't really get a clear picture of what these look like, so I'm just going to assume they're little... Domed boxy things? Domed boxy thingies. That's... And we are I, full I of couldn't, the yeah. jargon tonight. I couldn't have come up with a better term if I'd wanted the to. The Imperial doodads with the rounded, domed boxy thingies. Mm-hmm. And let's turn on auto grid and let me see if i can just make one here it's not exactly a boxy thing that's a grid i mean excuse me a cylinder i wasn't gonna say a word i was gonna let you have it all right and we'll even you know you could just let that sink in a little bit i don't think it's gonna hurt anything to do that uh but i do want to change a few things about this shape let's give it a few more sides um maybe 24 so there's no square like i'm still not square like okay keep on i see circular i don't see square like okay so back off okay you know? You're the modeler. So mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Repeat that out loud several times. All right, let's jump over to Hedges. Oh, man, people are watching this. Oh, look at that. I left some extra edges you on did. there that I didn't need. So uh, let's see. I could kill all those out real quick and easy, like if we just go ahead and, well, not ring, but loop those and then control remove. So I don't have to worry about that. Now let's grab this and we'll loop. Oh, it doesn't want to loop. Okay, well, let's try it the other way. We'll grab this guy and control click <laughs> on edges. Hmm. So there you go. And then we'll chamfer all that. That's a little bit heavy on the whole chamfer thing. And that'll probably work. So let's shade everything up. Uh, let's hit M and drop on our little modeling material and click OK. And uh, I think that's looking pretty good. Could use a little bit of a smoothing group adjustment, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this little Imperial doodad real quick. Um, let's do an inset, and maybe just a little bit more of an inset, and click OK, and then we'll do a bevel. <laughs> Sweet! That was the coolest bevel that has <laughs> ever been. now sporting spikes. The coolest bevel That's going to go into UT3 beautifully. Okay. And, uh, well, you know, you could also do these here from the right click, so... We could um, inset again, and ooh, we got to be really careful there. And let's do another bevel. This time we'll go up and in just a little bit. So there we go, an imperial doodad. Yeah, just in you know, in case the foot needs fuel or something. You never know. You really never do. Okay, so uh, now let's take this thing and dupe it around. Uh, let's get out of subobject mode before I break something, which I will if left to my own devices. Uh, let's go to the rotate tool. We'll set everything over to pick and we want to pick that guy and we'll rotate about that thing. So now is angle snapping on confirmed and we want to go 120 degrees. We'll make two copies. Boom. So we have three and they should be fairly equidistantly spaced around that thing. Not quite though, huh? I guess that I think um, they were just that guy wasn't centered up on them, perhaps. Yeah, the little locator guy. So wasn't grab all center. three now, rotate around the center, and just kind of. Well, I could just pull them out and just eyeball do it. Do that, you know. And that it was kind of working, you know. It, is, it was the empire after all. I mean, they just kind of rushed that stuff out. I guess. Well, you know, bring that. Take that up with Admiral Ozel, okay? Yeah, okay? He did rush things, and he paid the ultimate price for it. I'm such a geek. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down now because our foot is a little squattier. Again, we're stepping a bit away from what our um, our blueprints are saying, but we'll just have to kind of cope with that. Uh, next thing I want to tackle, we need to... Oh, there's a few little decorations that I'd like to put on these things. So let's see. If I grab all four of these at the same time... And I'm just going to start using my tools from over here. They just To me, it's easier. So a little bit of inset, uh, like so, and apply, and now let's uh, let's do a bevel. Uh, again, you get these awesome bevels that come out of that. It's a little bit of height, and apply, and then just kind of pull this down a little bit, and okay, and then let's inset. All righty, bevel again. And if you haven't noticed, I'm just kind of making this up. Just making something that looks interesting. Gotcha. And that's all there is to it. 
And uh, I'll extrude this inward. <laughs> Not outward, but inward. And there we go. Don't worry about the whole smoothing group thing. We'll tackle that all at once a little later. Okay, jumping back to our photo. This little track mm -hmm. in here. Now, you know, I'm willing to discuss this or, or debate about it, but it looks to me like there's almost a second track in there. Okay. But and there may not be. It's hard to say with these pictures. Uh, now, we could dig through a bunch of our other pictures because we've got lots of them. That tells us nothing. A lot of these tell us nothing. Um, you need a shot of that thing from dead on. And these are all, you know, like other people's interpretations. And you got to ask yourself, do these even really matter that much? Whoa. What was that back one? Back one? Or even there. Well, that doesn't okay. show anything. Well, obviously, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, we must put something in there. So uh, You would expect some sort of teeth or something. I would. That could tie into or mount up against uh, a motor or something with gears inside the ankle housing. That would make the most sense to me. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see here. Let's uh, deselect all of this stuff real quick. I just want to select the faces that are inside this track. And we're going to find that by doing this, I'm probably selecting through and grabbing a bunch of things that I don't want to select. And I am. Oh, yeah. But, but we can get those out. That's no big deal. I'm just using paint selection because it's a little bit faster. You know what? I had mm -hmm. ignore back facing off. That's mm -hmm. okay. I right, started over anyhow. Come here. I get alt and control confused when I'm recording a video. It's only when I'm recording a video, really. And I know my left from my right, so no uh, why. Well, no I understand. Tracks, I mean, that. control, all. To, it's, it's confusing. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Maybe I couldn't point earlier, but I'm about to. Oh, man. <laughs> You're going to start some stuff right here on video. Well, I mean, it'll We're definitely become one of the most interesting videos. We're going to throw down. So, yeah, there, there. Right. Back in, yeah, and there's. As if you had been drinking all night before you decided to start painting. There I wish. Go. Yeah, a few more there. Today's drunken modeling lessons brought to you by Mr. Right. Zach Perry. I think that's going to work. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. Good all job. Right. Good. E excellent job. Mm, what mm, do we do mm. now? No. Well, we inset all of this. Okay. Cool. And then we hit OK. Very good. And then we're going to extrude all this and let's go by local normal and just pull it in a bit so we get a, a kind of a second tier in there. We'll click OK. You get some weird things taking place up. Top. Oh my goodness! Just pointing out, and it's probably due to some floating uh, vertices or yep, something. Yep, let's, let's go ahead and see what we got. Double here. check. Hang on. Let's um, doctor whoop. scalpel. <laughs> exactly. I'm going in. Control Y. I just want to see where they are, and they're right there, and that's really scary. So let's switch over to vertices. Oh yes, yeah, so there they are. Uh huh. Hello. So All right, doctor. Four. Make a very careful incision and remove that crap. Kachum. Blam. Yes, very good. Very good. Blam. Very good. And now switch back over to faces. And now, hopefully, that's what I'm talking about. Hopefully, everything will just obey me. Oh wait, we've already inserted. Yeah, you did. I, I was, I was about to say something. Uh huh. I was. It's good that you didn't. There you go. Now, now you All right. Move. So we're looking good. So deeper groove, deeper groove. And you know, do you want to chamfer that? Let's see. Will it loop? It loops, so we'll chamfer it. If it wasn't going to loop up... Does that mean you actually did something right? Back off. Uh, if it wasn't going to chamfer, though, I wasn't going to loop it, or it wasn't going to clean it up. Anyways, so, okay, that's good. Now, if we want to put some teeth in there, and right. I can't confirm or deny whether there are teeth in there at all. Now, what do you think this is? The future? <laughs> no, I th it think, actually I think it's happened a, a long, yeah. long time ago. I think it's a long time ago that's in a right. galaxy far, far away, but that's, right. that's they, just they what I've teeth. been told. They had gears. That's just what I've been told. Okay, so we want to make some teeth. You can make these out of all kinds of shapes. I want to make them out of cylinders. Um, so we'll just draw like a little cylindrical, toothy looking thing, because all teeth are cylindrical, really. You may not have known that. I'm not commenting. No. Wow, you're learning. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ooh, he's Ooh. gonna start a fight before Look the show's you over. Go, yeah. All right. Uh, let's also jump in here. I'm gonna increase the height a little bit so that spans from one side of that gap to the other. We do not need 24 sides on this beast. Um, in fact, you know, if you wanted to, you could pull it down really low. It doesn't really matter. Right. So uh, I'll just leave it. Uh, I think right about there is gonna work. Now, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, left view. I'm uh, sorry, I got all confused. Who am I? Real quick. A little Alzheimer's kicking in. Oh no, that's awful. That's not. Well, even yeah, a, that's you not just, even a you funny got confused joke. who you were. That's not even a funny joke. I wasn't trying to be funny. I was just saying. <laughs> you were just you're genuinely awful. concerned. Yes, you're awfully young for that thing. 
All right, quit it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll pull this up. Now I'm going to hold down shift and uh, points now or uh, angle snapping is killing me right here. So we'll shift and drag that out. Yeah, kind of, yeah, what do you think? I'd a little almost, bit of a gap. I don't know about that. You're going to leave them kind of touching? Maybe right about there? Yeah, maybe right about there. Okay. Now, we're going to set these to instant. So if I want to change one, it'll change them all, and that'll just make my life a little easier. Darn skippy. And let's pull this up to, I'm going to try... A billion, because we can easily delete all that. Yeah, I'm going to try 120 and see how that works out. And mm. Whoa! Okay, user view. Fun. All right, so yeah, that's a few more than I needed. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Your vote of confidence is outstanding. Oh, we're still set to paint selection. I love it when I do that. Because I turn that thing on and I forget to turn it off later. Okay, so now let's deselect everything that I don't want to delete. Cause and I, then don't forget, uh, you got a piece right there on the front of the foot as well. Yeah. Ding, come on, you. Uh, there you go. I think that's everybody. Let's hit delete. And we just got a couple more to clean up in here. No, well, no, you could probably leave him. What mm. concerns me is... That they're kind of arcing up and over? Yeah. And it looks a little scary because of that? Did you, uh, did you move that piece down? Uh, did move I did move down. that piece down, but that's okay, because that just means I could grab all these little pieces here and move them down, and everybody should fit. You missed some of the top ones. I did it on purpose just to see if you were paying attention, sir. So selection class 101 will commence on... Uh, oh, uh, the pain I'm going to bring to you. What day is good be for awesome. you, Friday? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, that depends. What day do you want to die? <laughs> all right. Um... And at least they'll all show up. Let's take a quick look in perspective. I want to see what this looks like. And as long as we see them there, that's all. Yeah, that's matter. all I really care about. An F4. They're hey, showing up and they look yes, pretty we cool. Have gears. That's pretty groovy. They look pretty cool. Their gears in the groove, so they are pretty groovy. And ha ha, ha Pretty funny. And yeah, yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to simplify them too much. No. All right, about there probably looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm digging it. And that's 13, so I hope nobody in here is superstitious. Okay, and the rest of this is all looking pretty good. Let me take just a moment, grab this thing while I'm thinking about it, because I will forget. Scroll all the way down. And let's see, auto smooth. Uh, can we get away? Can we try 20? Will that work, you think? Auto smooth. No, let's try a little higher. Let me see what 30 yields for us. Tink. Bunk. Good, except I don't think what it's doing right there at that corner. See that? No, no, that's, that's ugly, funky stuff. That's kind of ugly. That's so oh. funky. 25. All right, let's put it back at 20 and I'll just walk away. Walk away, Zach. Walk away. All right, cool. And uh, let's see, what else? Well, it did clean up the inside of all yeah, those Yeah, that's like, what, what, what problems are you having with 20? I, it actually looks pretty well, good it, down there. Yeah, so I, I was thinking, do you want to get rid of that? But your cost of getting rid of that is you get the little funny corner guy. I got you. If you followed that with my very technical terminology there. Okay. I kind of like the flat edge and the, the harsher turn. Well, All right, continue, continue. I'm continuing. What, what about these extra cylinders that are down there? Do you really they were, the, there? It's an artistic license, man. Uh -huh. um, all right. uh, very good, and very good. F3, F2, one of these function keys. Oh, we're still in. Yeah, we so, are. We are. I keep thinking this uh, is uh, another. Leave that one. Okay. Uh, uh, it's I, right there on the very edge. I'm all show. trigger happy. And once, I see that. Leave it. Once I get to killing things, man, it's just. Anyway. All right, so oh, we need is to put that a threat. Like, I'm supposed to back off because once you get to killing things. I'm going to create another cylinder right in here. Okay. And I'm going to make sure. left some on the front. Auto grid is off. Hang on a second. There's I'm trying to do something. If you'd quit, you know. All right, cool. I have not bothered you once tonight. Since when? I've been quiet this entire show. Then I'm hearing all sorts of weird things. <laughs> Oh, so it's not Alzheimer's, it's something else. All right, quit with the Alzheimer's jokes, okay? Well, no, it, 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 it seemed to have something wrong. It just, just They're not jokes. What? When you're sitting there saying, I don't know who I am, and selections are quite all challenging right, for right, you right, tonight. Right, okay, right, right. I'll be quiet. What do you got? Uh, I'm going back to moving this thing around. We're gonna, okay. Actually, you know what? We're going to do it from the other side because the pivot is over here. That way, when I increase the height, it just stretches right across. I got you. All right, uh, hit Z and zoom. All right, so that's lining up pretty well. Um, uh, turn could, a little bit to the side. I was a little just bit looking higher. At, well, the nickeling's hardcore. No, not looking at the nickeling. I'm looking at how much of it's going to actually show through the. Yes. Oh, we, we haven't got that far yet. Um, oh, you mean like stick in there? Yes. I almost don't care, but um, we could just decrease its radius a little bit and fix that. Um, unless you want a big uh, radius. Like unless that. we want a big radius. Did I can? Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, did I convert it to an edible poly and forget? I really would have problems. 
Uh, I don't want to make it too no, much I smaller. Make it too much smaller. So we could we could you make those a little less shallow. shallow. That up. Yeah, and just don't worry about it right this second. All right, so sides. That's our problem. We need a lot more sides. Let's try um, thirty-six sides. Looks that, round to me. That looks pretty round to me too. I think that's actually going to work. So. Uh, we can come over here to this guy. Get a face in there and just right. move it back. And I want to try around. something. Let's do a uh, by angle and set this to, say, I don't know, 15 is probably more than enough. Are you going to get it, everybody? I think you did. And then shh, let's hold down control and get you. And I think that grabbed everybody. Let's fly over here and get you. Chink. And then come over here and get you, chink, and cool. Now let's get the, the scale, scale tool and make sure we're using the center of the selection. And we'll just push those guys away a little bit. Ah, much better. And it should solve our, oh, let's solve this problem anyway. And let's see what the next problem's going to be. We're going to take the height of this guy and just, just increase it all the way through. Now, a couple of things. Um, we need to kind of maybe take a few look around. Well, what did they do? Post, paste a button on there? That didn't look good. Oh, well, you that know. That model didn't look good. I'm sorry. Well, this is the movie model. That's not the one that had buttons on it. Oh, that well, maybe. Better. Maybe. Um, okay, really, it just looks like a cylinder to me. There may be some funny tapering going on in here, you know? But could maybe, maybe not. It, it, it could, could just be just plugged right through. Yeah, yeah, and don't worry about the... The other remaining details. So really, it's just a question of what do we want to do with the front of it? Now, what I'm seeing here is maybe like an extrusion yeah, it was from there. And well, there's this funny little almost triangular shape. It's got three little holes in it. Okay. So that's an interesting piece, but not hard to make. And uh, we're going to we're gonna make that first off. I'm just make sure that we're protruding through and looking good. And it seems that we are. So let's convert this thing over to an editable poly. It's the Imperial Stamp. That's the one no one ever really knew about. Uh, that's before they changed their logo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the, I have the wrong guy. So let's hit six and tink. Grab the right guy. Now I got the right guy. We're going to grab you and you so we can do these both at the same time. And same routine. Right click and let's inset. No, I don't want to outline. I want to inset. Thank you. And we'll pull these in to say, I don't want to go in too far. Maybe right about there. And then let's bevel these. Actually, I probably don't want to bevel. Let me right-click on that. I want to just extrude because I don't want to change the, the inset at all. That's all I want to do. Really, that's it. Now, we need to put that funny little triangular piece on top of this. Okay. Now, the way I'm going to do that is we're going to come over here to the front view, and here's this thing. Here's how it looks. Let's go to Create. Let's go to, no, not Lines. We're going to make an ingon. And we want this to be a three-sided ingon because we know the shape we want to make is roughly triangular. We can confirm that here really vaguely. Mm -hmm. It's very rounded, though. It's mm -hmm. not like a hardcore, rigid triangle. It's very, very soft. So what we'll do is we'll just start dragging this thing out from about the center of our piece. So eh, something kind of like that. And don't worry about the problems yet. Let's take our corner radius, and we'll lift that way up. And let's take our master radius and increase that. And really, it's just kind of a back and forth of increasing your radius and your corner radius until you get something that kind of approximates what you're going for, which is probably right about there. Okay. Okay, so now we have that. Let's right-click, and we will... We need to rotate this thing, but its pivot kind of needs to be centered, so let's switch it back over to the usual kind of rotation, and we'll straighten it out. Now, where is this thing placed? I'm sure it's like in the middle of... Nowhere. Eh, it could be at the front or the back. It doesn't really matter. Now, let's take this beast, and we're going to apply the mighty... Well, we could do bevel, but I'm just going to try a basic extrude. So something very, very simple. And let's give it a little bit of an amount. And uh, we'll go positive, as I can't make. I don't know if it, you know, real, yeah, a plate like that. Man. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be very thick. And of course, we could always just shove it back into the shape if we weren't satisfied with its thickness. But let's go ahead and convert this to an editable poly. Let's jump back over here into the front view for just a moment, and I'm going to create a new cylinder. I probably could have done this with splines a second ago before I beveled in the first place, mm -hmm. but you know. 
That's kind of how it goes. Sometimes you only think about that stuff after the fact. All right, so uh, let's jump over to our uh, rotate tool, which is currently, uh, let's set that to pick. Let's pick our little spline here, and we'll use the center of the selection, and hold down shift. And I must have turned off angle snapping a second ago, so let's hit A and turn that back on. So again, 120 degrees, and another copy, and there we go. So there's all three of those. Now where are those guys placed? Are they just kind of in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, sort of. So let's grab all three of them. And it looks like they could have their heights increased. So they would, you know, poke all the way through this thing. We'll pull them out. Let's hit F3 again so we can see everything. Okay, cool. So far, everything's good. We're going to grab this guy, jump over to creation. Let's go to compound objects. This time I'll grab a pro boolean. If for no other reason, then I can do this whole start picking thing instead of just picking one object. And we can pick you and you and you and then right click and we're happy. So now let's right click on that, convert that to an editable poly. And again, we're happy. Except now we're going to jump into edges. And wow, it's already got those selected. I might as well make use of that. Uh, let's chamfer those out. Oh my goodness, what an explosion of death and doom and destruction. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right, we'll worry about that here in just a second. <laughs> Uh, let's grab all these guys and loop them. Oh, it doesn't want to loop, so let's hit F4. Thank you. Not F3. My finger slipped on the wrong button. Do 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 do. I love that, but we're not even going to worry about it. I've already got a plan. This is a video about selecting edges. You like it? Absolutely awesome. You're still paying attention, though. Uh, oh, um, my bad. Yeah, uh -huh, looking uh -huh. good. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what I figured. Looking okay. Good. What the heck are those edges that are just like randomly put? When'd you do that? Oh yeah, that's um, that's called a a boolean. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, so let's uh, go to let's see faces and I'm with you, man. I'm F2. just kidding. Oh, I'm not. I'm not at all worried about it. Because you don't care. Because I just don't care. Let's set these to local normal. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's just a mess. Yes, it is. That's forty six different flavors of mess. So you know what I'm gonna do? Just leave them hard edged. I'm just, I could just leave them hard edged and not worry about it, couldn't I? No, um, could I could, or I would recre recreate the whole object with uh, splines to begin with. All right, so let's just shift drag this guy out, and that's fine. So kids at home, if you're following along, make sure that you create it with splines all before you do your first extrusion or bevel. Oh, you're being mean right now. What me? But I'm helping them out. Mm -hmm. How am I being mean? I'm giving them a tip. Oh, so it's a tip. I see. That's a good tip. I see. One of those. Yes, yeah, so you're making a compound shape and you do your little thing. All right, F4. So there we go. All right. All right. Got a bunch of objects here that I could put my little modeling material on. So let's grab all these. Let's hit the M key and we'll just select this guy and drop and close. And I think we're looking good. Look at that. Look at you go, man. All right, we've got a few little edge, you know, hard edging things that we could deal with here. Let's just grab the whole kit and caboodle. Actually, you know what? I should probably take care of my chamfering before I do this. So let's grab you and you and loop. Aw, oh, did you loop everybody? It doesn't. Okay, if it ever doesn't want to do that, remember you can grab the polygon and then control click on edges. So let's go ahead and do that on the other side real quick. Let's go to faces. Hold down control and click you. Hold down control and click on edges. There we go. Now let's grab this edge and this edge and we'll loop those. Fantastic. And then we can chamfer. And that's a little bit extreme chamfer. So pull that back. That's probably more than enough. So let's click OK. Now let's hit 5. Take a look at the whole thing and adjust our smoothing groups. 45 might be a little much. Let's pull it down to 30. Take a look. And I think that'll work. Looking good. All right, so there we go. Now, um, where to move on to from here? There's a few more uh, little tiny things. We've got these funny, shocky sort of, you know, these widgets okay. that hang off the side of the thing. And I'm at least going to get this started because I have no idea how long we've been carrying on now. Um, but 
I'm going to grab my little grid down here. I noticed something about this grid kind of in between videos. Oh, mm -hmm. Go away. I think it was like right as I was saving the video uh, during the last one. If we grab our rotate tool, this guy's rotated slightly. Ooh. So everything I created off him is also rotated just slightly. <laughs> yeah. Funny, isn't it? Okay. Anyways, so let's right click. Let's activate that grid. So make sure your grids aren't uh, accidentally rotated a little bit when you make them. And standard primitives, let's make a cylinder, just something simple. And I want to look in the front view, or the back view, it doesn't really matter. The only thing is, if you're, because this has already happened to me on models like this, mm -hmm. if you're going to be all zoomed up on a piece like this, do pull back from time to time, because if you don't, it's hard to tell your left from your right. And you could end up building on, like, building this on the outside of the foot, which wouldn't be good. And if I told you the number of times that it happened to me, then a lot about you would finally make sense. <sighs> but unfortunately, you're not going to tell us how many it's times. It's this vote of confidence that I keep getting. That's why I love doing what I do. Probably my favorite reason. All right. Uh, you know, we, let's pull this up. No, not you. Go, yeah, or just this guy. We're going to pull him up a little bit so he's not sitting on top of this little vent. Uh, we're going to bring down its height a little bit because part of this, you know, I'm just kind of looking at the picture and just sort of... Got any other pictures? Yeah, I got lots of pictures, but I mean, do they show this little piece in super fine detail? Well, not so much. And we got this. This is a model. There you go. Zoom in on that bottom back foot. And that's, that's all we get. Gotcha. So not what I would call supreme awesome detail. But, you know, it's enough to kind of get us started. It, you know, it's there a you cylinder, go. and that thing just kind of plugs into it. Okay. There you go. So that's the way we're going to build it. So uh, it appeared to be more down. Down. As opposed to down. Uh, uh, almost we, like. We could probably move these down all the way around the foot, actually. Um, and we could verify that real oh, quick. Oh, yeah, they are lower. That one picture did the trick there. Well, the, this guy, and, you know. And they might be, well, they've already mm -hmm. been shortened. We don't need to shorten them up anymore. We could grab all of them and switch over to local and just slide them down in Y. Something kind of like that. And now let's go back to view. Pull that down just a bit and maybe you know, bring the height down so he's not sticking. Because I don't know if he's actually sticking up in the smooth angled part. I think it is. But we'd have to kind of... I'm just going by picture. Keep going. I mean, there you can see it, like right, right in here. Yeah. Okay, well, all right, I'll buy it with that Sticking one. Sticking up just a That's from bit. the movie, so I'll buy it. <laughs> movie pictures take precedence. That's right. All right, which we only have so many. Oh, oh, our height is negative. Isn't that fantastic? That's okay. It won't matter when we convert it to an editable poly. All right, which we're about to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Convert to editable poly. And uh, start... So you're not worried about normals or anything at the moment? Nah. Well, it, no. Actually, not at all. All right, so uh, let's see here. Let's loop. I never wants to loop those. Always when they're on the end of a cylinder. Control edge. I keep thinking this is another application. Um, let's chamfer this guy, and we'll bring that down. In fact, we could probably just kick up a couple of segments here. Not so many. Just a few to get some sort of basic rounded. Sure. Okay, and uh, let's grab the guy up here up top, and this should be fairly simple. Ooh, even that basic inset might work out just fine for us. We could always change it later if it didn't. I just always feel the need to customize it a little bit. I can't just let the default settings go. All right, Why? Let's... If you just let the default settings go, Max is basically doing all the modeling for you. I know. Wouldn't that be awesome? All right, now we're going to see a little bit of penetration here. I wouldn't worry about it because we're going to cram something you know, down in there like the big cylinder that sticks up mm -hmm. and it'd be a lot easier to just not worry about it than it would be to try to find out how to carve the geometry of the foot to make that open so we're not going to worry about it you're going to do a little chamfering around the edges of that oh yeah yeah, yeah we have okay. to uh let's jump over to edges so we can go ahead and knock that out grab you now these will loop which is nice so let's chamfer those pull back on the amount a little bit you could leave the extra segments in there yeah, that's kind of nice oh yeah so we'll go with it and so that takes care of that little piece. Now, if we, you know, depending on where you look. Now, I saw a picture when I was kind of skimming through my photos, and I don't know if I could dig it back up very easily. 
that suggested that there was maybe some little shape or something. Oh, that's actually kind of a nice picture. That's a very nice picture. Even though this really doesn't have all that much to do with the movie. But um, I, I saw it something at one point. It, it suggested there was something kind of on the side of this thing just to keep it from being a cylinder. I guess I'll just leave that to a texture. Okay. Later on, if I want to carve something in there, I can. So uh, let's see. You. We're going to put you kind of back into position. Not perfectly. You will just kind of leave you. It's just kind of getting him out of the way more than right. anything else. Now, uh, the next piece I want to tackle. How are we looking on time, by the way? I don't want um, to take up more than I no, have. We're actually, you know, as we're just about to hit midnight, that's probably a good stopping point, to be honest with you. You think, I think so? I think we're right over 30 minutes. Okay. Well, it's been a good episode. Uh, we've cleaned up a lot of the little things that I didn't like with the foot. It looks much more like the Adat's foot. I'm not really satisfied with what happened here. But, you know, it's either revisit it or just move on. Or we can say, hey, it's a game model. This yeah. is not deforming. And and it should be just fine. Right. Because it's really, in the end, this is really just going to be part of the normal map. It's not even going to be a game model. That's right. So uh, we probably don't even need to worry about it. So that is going to wrap things up for this episode. Well, thank you guys for joining us. And we will see you again, well, in the next video.